saying was, okay, so indirect went from here to here, then factory labor went from here to here, then manufacturing overhead went from here to here. Yes or no? Yes. Now, when we have the elements of cost, debit into that account. Don't be surprised when you're reading a homework problem and not long after that it says X number of goods were completed. We need to make a journal entry moving these goods from work in process to finished goods. So we're going to debit finished goods and credit work in process for the amount that we accumulate, the cost of these goods. As a matter of fact, the distinguishing feature between these three chapters, 20, 21, and 22, or 26, 25, whatever it is, is how to get this amount. In job order cost accounting, we accumulate the cost on something called a job cost sheet. You remember Pet Boys? Mm -hmm. Remember all those jobs that are going on in all those bays? Did all of them pay the same thing when they got to the cash register? Yeah. No, because they had a system that accounted for all the parts and all the labor and all the other things that were incurred in that job. And that's what we're doing in this manufacturing concern. So when we sell those goods, they're gonna get transferred to, from finished goods on to cost of goods sold. That's called the flow of cost through the accounts. If you were paying attention, if you heard the story, if you kind of begin to get a glimpse of this, then it should be reasonably easy for you, obvious for you. I'm hoping that you'll open your note-taking guide up, have these face one another, and let me describe to you the journal entries required, expected, that you should be able to tell me from reading, hearing the story, seeing the diagram. This is a lot like your homework. The first one says, raw materials purchased on account. Raw materials purchased on account was this first one that was on the screen before the computer messed up. The goods are in somebody else's warehouse. We want to buy them and store them. We're going to debit an account called Raw Materials. Now, I'm going to abbreviate if you want to write it out so you'll understand it better. We're going to debit Raw Materials and Credit Accounts Payable. It's an acceptable account title. We're going to store those goods until we're ready to use them. That's this debit to Raw Materials. Now, it says Materials Requisition to, for Use. The supervisor in the factory is ready to get to work. We've got the employees there. They've all got on their work boots and their hard hats and safety goggles and gloves. All the goods leave raw materials. Some of them go directly into production. Some of them help. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. From that, we ought to make, be able to make this journal. We're going to debit work in process. We're going to debit manufacturing overhead. We're going to credit raw materials for the total. Look how it's like the diagram. Credit raw materials for the total. Debit work in process. Debit manufacturing overhead. How am I doing? Great. Now, I need a volunteer to talk to me about the amounts of the, this entry. You don't have to know what's going on for us to have a conversation. We're going to play two word games. I want to describe them consistently through the first word game, and when we finish that one, we're going to describe them with other adjectives, equally appropriate. Bentley, can you think of a word to describe this debit to work in process? It might be over here someplace. Let's make it a group think. That's the second word game. It doesn't matter what order we play them. Okay? I'm going to go for the first one first. 
What's this? This is direct materials. So one way we could describe this is direct. Now the other word game's coming in a minute. We're gonna have two different sets of terms here. The direct materials get debited to that. There was the clue right there. Ah, that ought to make it obvious that this manufacturing manufacturing overhead ought to be indirect. indirect materials. Thank you very much. And there's gonna be another word game. Now if you debit this with direct and this with indirect, this sum is going to be this total. Debits and credits have to equal. Yes? yes? Now, forget that we played that, even though it was important. Let's play a whole new word game about this journey. Debit work in process, how much? I heard the right answer, man. Oh, actual. This is actual. Did y'all hear that sometime today? Yes? Debit manufacturing overhead, how much? How much? Ah, that's why I did this. You're reading me the credit. And I'm asking you a debit. This is actual. Which is precisely the reason we're playing this game. So that you'd make that mistake today and never make that mistake again. If you debit this with actual and debit this with actual, surely this credit is actual. Debits and credits have to equal. Yes? Ah, factory labor cost pay. So what journal entry did we make to give these people the privilege of standing on our debit side? That's not the hardest entry we're going to do today. Could somebody volunteer and make that entry for me? Here he is. Here he is. Nathan? It's debit factory labor and credit cash. Yes, Nathan? Yes. Factory labor is an account. It's an allocation account. We're going to accumulate some information there and allocate it other places. Then we kept up with the job they did, the work that they did. And we're now ready to allocate those costs to production. I bet a whole lot of people are getting the hang of this. How about this debt? If you know, say it out loud. That's a little surprising. Okay, then let's look over and see if we can find it. It's labor costs that we're allocating. Something's coming out of factory labor. It's going to work in process. Here's the direct labor figure. And some of it came out of that account and went here. This was indirect materials, indirect labor, and other. You remember that? Yeah. So I was hoping you could look at the diagram and say the journal entry to me. Try one more time. We need to debit. Work in process. We need a debit manufacturing overhead. And we need to credit factory labor. It's leaving factory labor, going two places, the directly into the job and the helped on the job. So let's play work it. Debit work in process. How much? This is the direct labor cost. Debit manufacturing overhead, how much? If you were just a spectator today, I feel sorry for you. And credit factory label labor for the sum of these two. That'll clear out the account. Factory labor at that point has a zero balance. We allocated all of it. Let's do it again. Debit work in process for actual. Debit manufacturing overhead for actual. And credit factory labor with the actual cost we incurred. Debit scratch hefty. Who's kind of with me right this minute? I need it. Check. Good. Is this working? Yes. On the screen. Absolutely. Yes? Yes. Good. So Depreciation on factory, store, and office equipment. Well, part of it's a giveaway. The store, we debited to depreciation expense. The office, we debited to depreciation expense. And credited? Accumulated, accumulated depreciation. But that's not the whole entry. Look here. What about this factory one? Debit 
Depreciation expense dash factory. <laughs> yes or no? Factory equipment or building? Does this mean anything to you? Yes. So we're going to debit other? Uh, huh? <laughs> debit other, credit accumulated depreciation. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Let's put it in the other column in the special journal. <laughs> oh, debit other in the other. <laughs> What are we going to do? Factory building. Factory. This is called manufacturing overhead. You need to see it one more time? <laughs> Hello? Is anybody home? Do you have it or not? Yes. An other cost. Why don't you go ahead and put a little star out beside that that says, I might need to think on that just a little bit. And make sure you got it right. Debit. Manufacturing overhead for the depreciation on the factory equipment. Debit depreciation, we still have expenses. Debit depreciation expense, debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation. Good. Ah. Applied overhead to production. The applied amount. Now, where on earth was that on the original document? Y'all remember it was actual, 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 but it was this branch right here? That was the estimate you wanted to talk about a while ago? Mm -hmm. We're going to apply overhead to production. It's an estimate. Can you look at the diagram and say the journal? Can you? Mm -hmm. Here, we'll credit debit work in process. Debit work in process. Credit manufacturing overhead. Debit work in process. Credit manufacturing overhead. How much? A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. The estimate. It's different. You gotta be curious. You gotta wanna know. You gotta be paying attention. Mr. Gray. Yes, sir. Uh, is that the first the first debit of uh, manufacturing overhead? That's the first credit. And then I'm talking about the one before this one. This one right here? Yes. That's okay. not the first one. Here's one and here's one. Okay. Well, the one before this one. Okay. <laughs> I got trouble. When you said the first, I'm just trying to find the first one. I understand. Is that the apply or the actual amount? Of this one right here? Yes. Is actual. I should have written it right here. I didn't think of a good word to write here. It's a debit. So I don't have the original thing that we saw, but when we debited this three times over here, these were actual, actual, and actual. Okay. When you saw it on the screen earlier. Okay. Debits to manufacturing overhead are actual. The only one that's applied is the credit. Okay. It's, it was a good question. I hope you got it. So I said before, and I want to say again, when you have debited Manufacture. Sorry, when you have debited work in process for the elements of cost. Let's do it again. When you have debited work in process three times. Did you see them? Mm -hmm. For the elements of cost. Don't be surprised when you've completed some goods. You have all the resources you need to complete the product. So, debit, <coughs> finished goods, credit, work in process. And the distinction for the amount of this entry is different in each of the three chapters. I like this one better. This is job order, this is process, this is a standard cost system. The distinguishing feature between these is how to get this amount. Sorry, 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 sorry. It was so good. The distinguishing feature between these three chapters, this is chapter 20, this is chapter 21, this is chapter 25, I think. That's all that's different. All these other things are the same. It's the way we get this amount. Now, this part reminds me a lot of first semester. We sell goods, debit accounts, receivable credit sales. Perpetual inventory takes two entries. The second entry is debit cost of goods sold. Up until now, we would have credited merchandise inventory. But now the name of that account is finished goods. Debit cost of goods sold, credit finished goods. Now, when you do your homework, it's going to be a lot like that. Now, be still just a second. It's not always going to be like that. Some problems are going to follow that pattern really, really closely. 
And some problems don't follow that pattern. You're going to have to be a little more creative about finding it and what's appropriate. It's not always exactly like that. Some problems are going to be so close to that. We didn't get it all done. We did a good job on what we did, but we've got some pretty important stuff left to do about subsidiary ledgers and the true nature of manufacturing over and how it works. Be curious. Study some on your own. It's an important chapter. Help me get all the attendance sheets.